So this is a Christmas tree, and this is a house. But I was wondering, what if I turned a Christmas tree into a house, but in Boxburg? And after a ton of comments from you guys recommending me to do this, that is exactly what we're going to be doing in today's video. So let's get started. Okay, we're going to name this plot. Are you ready for this? Tree house, literally. Stop it. Get some help. I'll shut up now. Okay, so first we need to put our Christmas tree down here. We're just gonna plop this right here. This is our, our muse, if you will. You know how artists have their muse? Like Mona Lisa, this is my muse. Alright, so now we need to attempt to build the Christmas tree. We can either have it like vertically or horizontally. I wanna try vertically. I wanna try going up. I mean, first we need like the base of the Christmas tree. And then we need like the little branches of the Christmas tree. So we'll just need like three stems and each stem can extend by two blocks. How on earth am I gonna make this a house though? Like yeah, it's easy building the Christmas tree, but like turning it into a house? You you just love watching me struggle, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, guys. <laughs> I've been building the Christmas tree upside down. You're joking. You're joking. Oh, you absolute muppet. I cannot believe I just done that. That is so stupid. Okay, we're getting there. And this top one, it has to be only two blocks. Okay, let's have a look. It doesn't really look like a tree though, does it? Maybe put like a slanted roof all along here. Then it will like connect the tree. You know what I mean? So slanted roof. What I love about slanted roof is that if you need to change that direction, if you're playing on the computer, you can just press R and then boom. Look at that. Spin in. Again, I don't know if I'm doing it vertically or horizontally. So, I mean, we shall see. Dot, dot, dot. To be continued. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, drum roll, please. <laughs> oh my. It does not look like a tree. It looks like Phineas and Ferb. Alright, you know what my problem here is? It's too big, eh? It's it's way too big. Like, that right, stem can be like that. And then each branch can be like three each instead of like 16. Didn't I have the walls like 16 blocks? That, that's way too big. Okay, we're, we're only gonna do like three. Three's fine. Second branch of the tree can maybe be something like this. And then we need the top of the tree. Actually, no, the top of the tree is just gonna be a roof. Oh my god, please work. This whole video is just gonna be me trying to figure out how to build the outside of this tree. I haven't even started editing this video and I can already tell that like I'm angry at myself because I keep changing my mind. You know what, Alaska editing this video. How's your day going, queen? I don't like the fact that my friends are on my server right now. I don't want them to see me struggle. This is embarrassing. Uh, look at Ella. She's literally like watching me. Ella, don't look at this. This is embarrassing. All right, if this doesn't work, I swear. Okay. <laughs> it looks stupid. Wait, no, no. We're just gonna we're gonna paint it and we'll see. Okay, but the thing is though, can we fit a star on the top? All right, let there be a star. Oh, I'm a this episode of does it work or does it flop you know what it's kind of cute it's a little it's like a little tiny star okay i think we've got like the outside of this christmas tree done i was gonna do it on the floor there was a moment there where i was like okay i give up but um you know what? i think i think we got it now the next thing we need to do is decorate the tree i love decorating the tree i don't my tree is literally empty right now empty Alright, we can use these colourful string lights and just add these around randomly. I love setting up the tree, but I don't like decorating it for some reason. I can't! I think we're just gonna do like classic red and green Christmas colours for the lights. One thing that I hate, hate, hate is those boring beige Christmas trees. Like, where's the flavour? Where's the flavor in this? And yes, I am using decals as my Christmas balls. Wait, is there like a little Santa ball? Oh, that would be kind of cute. Santa balls. I think they're called bulbs. <laughs> oh, we can have a little bow as well. Okay, that's kind of cute. Ooh, Italic said Alaska, you should put some long leg spiders in there. Italic, I will not be adding spiders in my Christmas tree. In case you haven't noticed, I'm weird. I'm a weirdo. You guys have like a family heirloom on your tree, like a bowl that's been passed down for generations. You know what I realized, y'all? Um, hmm, where on earth are the windows gonna go? That's all right, they can be on the opposite side. Also, question, do you guys have like real Christmas trees in your house or fake Christmas trees? I'm not gonna lie to you, I have never bought a real Christmas tree in my life. It's always just fake Christmas trees. And the reason I don't want a real Christmas tree is because, okay, what if there's literally a spider in your tree? Like, no, I can't deal with that. Christmas is meant to be about joy and happiness. How can I be happy if there's a potential threat in my Christmas tree? Like, mm, no. Now we need like the reef. What's it called? This stuff? The, the string? What goes on a Christmas tree? Please help me out. Tinsel. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes, this bad boy. Oh my gosh, my cats are always choke on this. I also can't have it like a big Christmas tree because my cats, they will always jump on the Christmas tree and knock it over. Like it's... <laughs> the tinsel we're gonna use some large round rods and kind of attempt to make this look like tinsel i guess uh, what color is tinsel i'm thinking carpet 
You're joking. Sunset baby. <laughs> I don't know why I've got that song stuck in my head. Wait, how do you put tinsel on a tree again? I kind of forgot. All right, we're nearly there. I think I just need like one more tinsel. I'm thinking white and red tinsel. And maybe for some big lights, we can use lanterns. Just to make the tree like really light up during the night. You know how like underneath a Christmas tree, they've got like a round carpet? We're gonna do this as well, but instead of a carpet, I didn't measure this up properly. Oh my God, I can't do circles. I don't know what it is. I'm literally so bad at measuring stuff up properly. Like, I really want a red carpet underneath the tree. It's fine, we can do this the good old fashioned dumb way. I just opened the chat and all I see is a talic saying, my dad literally said to me, do not lick the Christmas tree. And then she left the game. Okay, interesting. Now I think we can start decorating this and turning it into a house. So firstly, we need the door into the tree. I want this to kind of be like a secret door so we don't really know it's a tree. This is gonna be like the most weirdest layout to a house I think I've ever done. And it's three stories, so we're gonna have to like utilize our space a lot. I'm thinking like entry slash living room. Second floor, we can have the kitchen and then we can have the bathroom. And then on the final floor, we can have my bedroom. And let's be honest, no one cares about the back of the Christmas tree. I mean, do you guys care about what the back of the Christmas tree looks like? No. We're gonna have windows at the back here. Christmas time calls for custom windows. I feel like Christmas should be more than just December, you know what I mean? Also, is anyone here like a Christmas baby? Like, born on Christmas? One of my friends is actually born on Christmas, which is kind of cool. I would hate to be born on Christmas though. I feel like all the attention would be like away from me and I'm like, today is my day. Oh, look how cute those windows look. Uh, the theme we're doing for this house, by the way, classic Christmas home. Like nice and cozy. As soon as you walk in, I just want you to feel like, oh my gosh, it's Christmas. That type of theme. Does anyone here like go anywhere for Christmas? Visit anywhere special? Next year, I would love to stay in New York for Christmas. Like a New York Christmas sounds so cool to me. Also because I just, I really want to see snow. <laughs> okay, so as this is the living room and the entryway, first we need a nice cozy fireplace right here. Stop, this is so cute. You know what I can't wait to show you guys? When I build my Christmas home. Because I will be building like a Christmas home for you guys. I think it's gonna be like a speed build. So this way you guys can actually copy it. Lots of you guys complain that you can't copy my builds. So my apologies, I will be releasing a speed build, maybe. Don't, don't quote me on that. I want to have a TV that like says the Polar Express. You know what I love about Christmas as well, especially in Bloxburg? The custom channels they release. If you don't play Bloxburg, when they release the Christmas update, they come out with like Christmas channels on the TV. Now for me, instead of a TV, we're going to have a painting. This painting is going to show the Polar Express, aka my favorite Christmas movie of all time, as well as this holiday mantle on the fireplace. Why is this Christmas tree house actually like going to turn out good? A right, Christmas tree right there. Does anyone have white Christmas trees? Or like pink Christmas trees. I swear most people in Australia have like white Christmas trees. I feel like people in different countries wouldn't though because like they would see snow all the time and like that's not a privilege I get. I am raging. Raging. All right, next we need some fairy lights. I don't know if I want to have warm fairy lights like this or we should have like frosted blue lights. I think we're gonna stick to the warm lights. They're kind of cozy. And you know what guys, at the back here, I'm thinking custom wallpaper. And I also realized, um, <laughs> we need a way to get upstairs. I should probably figure this out before I add any more furniture. We don't have like much room up here. So I think we might have to use a ladder. I'm so impressed with this first floor. <gasps> we can put stockings on the fireplace. I thought we couldn't do that. I swear I tried that the other day and I could not do that. I feel like Bloxburg's pranking me right now. And I think we're just gonna have like one Victorian sofa right there. I don't think we've got room for two lounges. Okay, there's my tiny little lounge. Oh, you know what would look nice? A long floor lamp. Oh my god, Ella just sent me $30,000. And she goes, girl, I'm rich, don't worry. Get in, loser, we're going shopping. Some decor on the table, aka trees, elf, and a kid's book. And I think that is the first floor of our Christmas tree house done. So now we can move on to the second floor. Oh my gosh. All right, it's looking a little bit crazy up here. The tinsel's literally coming through the tree. I'm thinking maybe this can be the hallway. Maybe this over here can be the kitchen. But for the bathroom, we're gonna have to put a wall here for our privacy reasons. What do you mean I can't place a wall here? That, okay, it's fine, all right? You know what, basic shape. When life gives you lemons, use a basic shape. See, you can't even tell that there's a basic shape there. 
Oh my gosh, that scared me. I just got an alarm on my phone that says buy tickets. That was scary. You know what, to break up the kitchen with this hallway, we're gonna have like two pillars. Also, I was reading my comments the other day and there was a few people that were upset with like the amount of OCD jokes that I have in my videos. Guys, I'm literally like medically diagnosed with OCD. My way of coping with it personally is just by making jokes, but I can understand how that comes off like a little bit misleading, which is not my intention at all. But yeah, my OCD can sometimes get like really bad and has literally made me like late to events like i'll literally be like okay if i don't place things in a certain order in a certain way my whole family will die like <laughs> and people that like are diagnosed with ocd they can deal with it differently like me for example if something's not done in a specific order i will literally get like a panic attack so <laughs> so trust me i completely understand where some people are coming from i'll try to like refrain from making jokes because like my last intention is to, like offend anyone at all yeah okay this is my kitchen to be honest with you it's it's giving barbie's dream house like barbie dream house who and you know what every single floor in this house is gonna have a christmas tree it's essential another one another one another one another one you know what? this tree this tree can be a white christmas tree i'm feeling white this year right, and of course we can't forget another ladder that goes up into my bedroom you know how there's like elf on the shelf what if we have elf on the island bench this can be the cookies and the milk, except the elf drank the milk and ate the cookies. So this is our gorgeous little wooden kitchen. Now on this section here is where we're gonna have the dining table. I know, very weird small space for the dining table. But we shall make it work. And we need like a very skinny table though. I mean, we could potentially use this table, that kind of works. With like rustic chairs along the side. Except the table, we're gonna make this plaid. Because every Christmas table should be plaid. Are you ready to see the cutest Christmas setup in your life? There you go, amazing, thank you. All right, next to this we have the bathroom. So we've got two windows here. Can we place another window on the side? I mean, we can, but like it looks directly out to the tree. So there's no point of doing that. I reckon bathtub can go along these two windows. We have, oh, you guessed it, another Christmas tree in the bathroom. I'm not kidding when I said I want Christmas trees everywhere in this house. That is including the bathroom, darling. We can have a two-person sink right there. And before you ask, uh, yeah, we will be ignoring the fact that there's tinsel coming through the walls. As I like to say, out of sight, out of mind. Out of sight, out of mind. And as for the shower, this can just go above the bathtub. We've got like a massive empty wall here. So I think we might place some oak shelves above the sink and just fill this up with toiletries. Oh my God, we can have Christmas soap with Christmas toothbrushes. Oh, wait, can we place a little elf like on the toilet. I mean, I can't, but I'll make a way. Oh my god, stop. Look at what Ella made me. Is this meant to be me as a star on my tree? Wait, is this in play about us? Oh, that is kind of iconic. Okay, so I think the bathroom's done. So the last room we have to do is, of course, my bedroom. The bedroom's actually pretty spacious. I was not expecting it to be that big. That's what she said. <laughs> so I think I want, like, this wall to be one big window. That way we have a nice view out here. I'm actually gonna leave the roof as grass so we remember our roots and how we live in a tree. Come on, that joke was so good. I think that was my best joke yet. So we can make the walls out of wood. Oh my gosh, wait. This actually does look like a tree bedroom. I've got a kind of cool idea for the bedroom. I don't know if it's going to work though because I've never tried it before. So what if we have a traditional hood like this and then next to this we've got tall pantry cabinet. So this can technically be my closet. If I place two single beds right next to each other, I mean, it kind of works. And this way we can have like Christmas bed sheets. Stop, you know what I can have for my pillows? A little star pillow, which represents the like top of the tree. So thoughtful I am, so thoughtful. And the blanket can be like the snow. I'm also going to copy this chandelier from downstairs. And I'm thinking along the window here, we can have a side desk. I had a book here in case you need to do some summer reading. Is that a thing? Do you guys actually have to do summer reading on your holidays? I ever had homework during the holidays. I feel like I'd definitely leave it to like the last day. Fine, we can just put a little elf here. He can do the work. Oh, excuse me. Dobby the house elf. Also, can we just talk about the fact that I'm um, 20k away from 1 million? You know how scary that is? You shut up! I'm so scared right now! Like, one million. You, that's kind of scary. Anyway, we've our presents underneath the Christmas tree in the bedroom. I think that is our Christmas tree house all complete. So now we can have a look at the finished result. Okay, so the Christmas tree house is all finished. This is how the outside of the tree turned out. We just don't talk about, um, we just don't talk about the back of the tree, okay? That's forbidden territory. You know what, compared to an actual tree, I think we've done all right. Looks a little bit weird, but we've done all right. The star turned out cute. So to make our way inside the house, we've got to go through this secret door. And then we are inside the living room, which personally, I think I've done a pretty good job on. These elves, they're attracted. Did you just, 
dab that elf just dab at me like, look how cozy this living room looks we've got polar express on the tv we've got mine salem and samira's um stockings on the fireplace it's a total vibe and this wallpaper everything you actually cannot tell that this is um inside a tree at the moment unless you zoom out so once we go up these sketchy stairs we are on the second floor of the tree which includes the dining room and the kitchen i went with a very like traditional wooden kitchen it's very small but you know what it does the job we've got amazing view out here we've got this elf called um steve he stole all the cookies and milk and then this is my dining table where i sit all by myself like a lone lone loner <laughs> Now making our way to the left here, we've got the bathroom. I don't remember inviting an elf on my toilet. Um, I'm a bit concerned on like what I'm looking at here. Oh, okay. Ho, ho, ho. So yeah, we've got my sink here. Personally, the vibes are immaculate. Like, look at this. We've just got me and my elf chilling in my house. Yeah, the only problem is if you use this toilet, there is like an elf sitting on the toilet with you, which is kind of concerning. Oh God, this is an angle that I did not want anyone to see. Last room in the house, we have my bedroom, which is my personal favorite because like look how cozy this bedroom looks the cabinets in the hood light actually turned out really nice i would personally have this in my real life house like can you imagine just chilling in bed watching the snow outside having a hot chocolate oh my god wait no i'm stuck i'm stuck in my bed oh that was scary the only weird thing about this room is that i've got an elf just chilling in the corner and then we've got my desk here you know what if this was my desk i don't think i would mind doing homework in the holidays so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed me turning a christmas tree into a house in blocksburg this is a very interesting challenge make sure to comment what you guys would want to see next and i will see you in the next one bye